What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Sweden. And so to pick up where we left off, we have conquered the city of Madrid and now we are mopping up the last remaining Spanish troops. So the force under Renhold Backstrom is going to attack and destroy this force under Tomás de Ayala, which is mostly cavalry with a handful of infantry left remaining. And now we own Madrid, our forces will be replenishing as we move through the country. So let's take them out. So now we've got three armies in the region. One army is going to be main is going to be staying behind to maintain control of Madrid. One army is going to head south towards Gibraltar, and one army is going to head towards the Portuguese border, uh, replenish and wait for their cavalry reinforcement to arrive, and then they will probably then attack Lisbon. And ooh, hello. Interesting building in the centre. Um, we're going to attack Lisbon and that will be the Iberian Peninsula secured and then we can begin the next phase of our offensive plan. So I want to get my 12s up here, maybe get my 6s down here to trot up to here and f begin firing. But ultimately I do want my Delta militia force to advance through this gully and spread out in the centre. My Bjornborg plus my light infantry are going to push out the right. My grenadiers and my elite troops are going to push up the left. And my grenadiers are actually going to get the smaller amount of support. My general is going to follow the main column up the centre. My howitzers are also going to do the same. So let's unlimber my 12s. Oh, they are unlimbered. Okay. Pressing the control and Get cracking. So you men push out of the... What have I got selected? I've got my six pounders selected. No, 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 no. You men march out. My sixes get up on top of the hill here. My horse guards and my light dragoons get them out wide. There we go, something like that. Get my general to follow. My howitzers are ready. My 12 pounders can't engage, so they're going to limber up. And we're probably going to speed up time because Napoleon Total War 3 is a slow game. And also, I suspect the AI is probably in a big clump back here. So, unlikely to see too many surprises. So, if my. 12s can't engage from back here. My 6s are nev never going to engage from back here. Could take this building, but the problem is if they've deployed back, which I think is what they've done, that will be kind of irrelevant. So there's some enemy cavalry. So our front line, we're going to advance past the house. I didn't even select them all. Uh, da -da -da -da, you guys... I did, they're just, there's just some weird... Okay, so all a, lot, a big block of the cavalry... To be honest, the cavalry spread all over the place. Get my horse guard back. Eh, actually, maybe it's not so silly to hold the farmhouse. Get my foot Jaeger in there. Enemy artillery is firing. Get my general up. Get my howitzers to advance. Fortunately, they can't occupy my my whole unit. Can't fit inside the house. We have taken the buildings up. I always just feel a bit silly that when that happens, your guys just kind of stand outside. Like, what well, could they not make this area a bit bigger? Like, look, they're only occupying a handful of spaces outside. Advance my cavalry up. I don't think my infantry is going to do much there. I dislike when I've only got half of a unit exposed outside. My sixes are engaging the horse guards. I 
Actually, they're going to bump into a square formation, so... Well, they might... Uh, yeah, there they go. Square and square and square. Those units form square. You have the sixth light horse and the third light horse. They're going to run into trouble. Get these men out of square and get them on the flank. The cavalry de Ligne have got a sneaky charge off, so they're actually doing okay. But these are horse guards, so... First foot guards form square as well. They might get a bit exposed out on the flank. So they've expended their cavalry. At least in part. Maintain the advance to fix their troops. Get my cavalry to continue to push. They might still come back from this. Well, not come back, but their cavalry might come back. Get my heavy cavalry back. Get you men formed up to engage the enemy. Yeah, my light horse go attack the 5th Regiment of Horse Artillery. Can you guys not engage? Are you just out of range? That's odd, if so. My howitzers unlimber and can begin firing. My Sigma 12s can unlimber and begin firing. Form a pike block to at least try and protect the, this regiment of Indelta that have been caught out on the flank. Bring up Mr. Backstrom. Our oh, U-men can't form square, but these guys can. So my foot Jaeger fall back to the square. Excellent. Push my cavalry up around the flank. Run my foot Jaeger back through the line. Nice volley into the 3rd Regiment of Dragoons at point-blank range. Let's get my heavy cavalry to charge the 14th, because they've now broken square. Ah, that militia unit. Okay, good. Charge the 14th. You men get out of square and begin to head up this narrow stretch of road here. A glorious victory, sir. Skirmishers all the way at the back. To bring up my cavalry to, th to threaten them. Because this infantry battle over here is only going to go one way. You men get up here and secure the high ground. My heavy cavalry are going to beat the 14th Regiment of Voluntarios. Where's the general's staff? Drop you guys into square. Foot Jaeger, ceasefire. Pour a limited volley into the regiment of horse that is right there. New men drop into square. Uh, they're going to kind of hit my skirmishes, but they're also going to hit the 1st Grenadier Regiment. go you men get out of square and charge the general staff you men get out of square and advance but fundamentally the light horse chase down their skirmishes because the Teodor the, the last unit at the back of the map they're actually standing against us the general's bodyguard have broken I guess we smash into the skirmishes and do a huge amount of damage yeah, they've been caught out completely. 
safe to say their company no longer exists. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We lost 169 men. Their force was almost... Oh, noise. Noises. There we go. Whenever I go noises, noises, that means it's that horrible, weird grinding. Static noise. So let's auto-resolve the remainder. And we lost more men doing that than we did fighting the first battle. So you men push south. Salamanca can now be upgraded to a... Probably a supply post. Because we've got a number of forces that are going to be replenishing. You're driving south hard to Gibraltar. A light dragoon unit is going to be dispatched to Cartagena. There we go. We've evicted them from our port. And let's build a sloop to occupy this area. Portugal might take a bit of fighting, so we might have to... Well, you will have to commit two armies to beating Portugal, but I'm hoping... Mr. Almquist can march south and secure Gibraltar fairly quick. I'm not quite sure why. Okay, so Mr. Backstrom, they do have a cavalry unit that's going to be on their way. But it is being recruited outside of the... It's being recruited via, uh, you know, getting them over to the army. Well, it's being recruited from the army rather than from a city. So I don't know where it's going to come from. It'll probably take some time to get over there. But we're forming our front line ready for the next great war. And that reminds me, actually. Russia. Who are you at war with? Spain and the French. Well, I hate to break it to you. There's no Spain down here. And the French, we're waiting to attack next turn. Because we can't actually get there. And there's Napoleon himself again. But soon he will be knocked out. Niles, Nils, yeah, you're recruiting more cavalry as well. You guys might actually go to northern Italy instead, because down here is pretty secure. Hey, you've actually got a, a uh, battle alert there for fighting that ambush that tried to uh, actually knocked out a unit of my cavalry. Hussars can leave Madrid and go up towards La Corona. Evict that Spanish fleet. Good. It's going to take some time to bring this force... To bring, to bring this city into the fold. Not quite sure what it is about Spain that the audio seems to particularly hate. But apart from that... One more turn till we get uniform armament. Then they're going to go straight on to rifled cannons. And we're only researching it because... We have no other reason. We have nothing else to really research. Still maxing out our shipbuilding, but as you can see, there is still a... I can fill... I can create these great fleets. Johan af Puke. Come on in, Mr. Puke. So when we've got our... When we secure Gibraltar, we will sail south to hold it for our empire. This force, once it takes Corsica, will probably sail over and take Palma and allow these three armies in Spain to focus on defeating Lisbon, then being redeployed to Normandy to land and take London. But we've got to hit and turn first, because uh, we've got nothing else to do. So all my gentlemen are moving to the last university in Sweden. Opportunity to intercept? Absolutely we want to intercept them. Send them scuttling back to Corsica, then next turn we can lay siege to the city, and do some depletion. So we want to try and maintain our forces intact for as long as possible here. We're going to be pushing them back to the capital. Try not to lose that many men. And then just siege Corsica. Force them to throw themselves against us time and time again. Although to be honest we could do that now with our guns. But it's going to take forever. So our 12s are going to be in the centre of the line, so we need to build a slightly different formation. So a brigade immediately to the right, Delta Militia and Delta uh, Finska to the left. I mean, I haven't deployed as far up as we could. That would be a smart decision. The reason why I want my artillery in the line is because artillery is really quite effective. 
Then on one flank, I'm going to put a Kurgunit Varvade plus my Foot Jaeger. Then another Kurgan plus a, another is that Foot Jaeger. Yeah, Foot Jaeger on the right. Light Dragoons, Horse Guards on either flank. Howitzers behind the line. General in the centre. So yeah, reinforcements coming in directly behind the enemy. So we at least want to advance towards the enemy a little bit. We don't have to push too far up, but just enough. I'm not getting them, to be honest, I could just unlimber my howitzers here. We can destroy their initial force fairly easily. Infantry de linea, infantry de linea conscripts, infantry de linea. So here come the reinforcements. They are going to be tired because they're going to be running. There's Napoleon's balloon. It's just taking off. This, this bird's going to fly. Let's begin to uh, form our new line. Napoleon's feeling a bit squiffy. Let's run my main front line, unlimber my artillery, switch it to canister shot immediately. Unlimber the howitzers. Barrage. Oh, the light horse are going straight for my... You guys deploy into a little pike block. Ah, oh, that gonna, they're going to knock out my little guns. Fair enough. Our That's what happens when you push them up too close. But they're going to get sucked into my little militia square. And that's going to be the end of them. Go on the light horse. You fancy attacking all these militiamen? No, you don't like it. Deploy my cavalry in to engage the lead elements of the the enemy force. Actually, no, I don't need to do that. Because they're going to hit my square formation here. Keep pushing up either flank. There we go. So that's the infantry linea routed. I don't know if that's Napoleon. I don't think it is, because I think it specifically goes, that's Napoleon. There he is. My gunners have come back. So I've lost the artillery teams that come with them. We have killed their that's general, one. sir. Now they Was must that, Did we kill Napoleon himself? No, that's one of the, the units out here we've killed. We want to bring our cavalry into the centre. Get my general over here. Some of my militia units are a bit upset. The 14th Regiment should pour a good volley into the flank of those conscripts. Yeah, it's so 7th Light Horse. Voltages. Commit my cavalry into the battle. withdraw my cavalry because we defeated them. We want to keep some units pushing around to attack Napoleon himself. Conscripts uh, bayonet charging us, so counter charge with my own militia. That was enough. Where's my lights? My light horse detached to go after their light horse. Get my 10th Regiment in here quickly. So you men can intercept the 17th. All my artillery fire it will off as the 10th Light Horse go after Napoleon. My heavy cavalry go after the 14th Regiment. 
Then let's form our line. It's actually we their general, there we go. Now Napoleon's Napoleon has fallen in the bayonet charge. Let's make use of our twelve pounders and actually form a line. So I do want to use my. I do actually want to use my artillery in a manner that it was at least tangentially intended. Because I do want to try and keep my casualties low, or low-ish. Knocking out Napoleon in such simple fashion is a good outcome. But let's speed up time, because ultimately the enemy has to bring troops onto the field... Although, to be honest, I'm probably going to have to push up anyway because the AI is dumb. So they will have successfully nullified my 12-pounder because they're not going to be able to do much. And staying back is boring. Those are just Voltage We're going to want to push up and knock them out. 37th Regiment are upset. So 12 pounders. I mean, the fire round shot and fire at will. Get my light horse to advance. Well, to be honest, get my cavalry to advance up to here, because some of these units to the rear are actually quite... They're quite deliciously isolated. Make sure you're all fire it will on. The 17th routed. How it's as limber up. Human advance. So the Guard National of Form Square. Smart. Forty first Regiment are wavering. Understandable, because they're now being fired upon by a large number of men, and their general has fallen. Broken. Aha! Artillery on the right, push up. Artillery on the left, push up. Cavalry fall back. It was tempting and intriguing to try and go after some of these skirmish units, but when there's a Guard National unit just sat there as a block. Nah, looks like my 12 pounders are going to be useless. Nope. Ah, well. Let's continue with pushing up my line. Some of these voltages and so on are going to get upset by my cavalry, by the, f the resulting cavalry charges that are going to happen. Cavalry stay wide. Guard National, Guard National. It looks like the enemy force is gonna get is getting cut in half. So you men get to the cover up the gap at the, at the hill. You men can form to attack the voltager. They've realised what's happening and they don't like it. But there is exactly squat they can do about it. You go there. You go here. 
They're going after my cavalry, but they're sending Voltager, Guard National. Lots of light troops. Who go down pretty nicely. To cavalry. Hit the Voltages with both of my cavalry units. The Guard National has pivoted to face my line. This unit of Voltager should fall fairly quickly to these units because they've been engaged with musket fire at point blank range. The horse guards are going to do a, good, a real number on this Voltager unit. You can charge the militia. They're currently. Yeah, they've got a good level of experience. Kill a few more Voltager, but don't pursue them ever so. Hopefully you men are going to cause the Voltager to break. You men pivot against them. Push up the, this unit in support of the attack against the conscripts. You units fall back. and Delta unit's going to be is going to be well it is upset it's going to say not there's no is going to be upset it is upset okay so that's bayonet charge this unit use these units to push up the right side of this mound Artillery is, is forever advancing, but I think we're going to hit a point now where we have to just dig in. So the 15th Regiment of Militia are going down. Those Voltagers have come back, so let's advance towards them with my light cavalry. We'll form a regular infantry line. Foot Jaeger on the flank. So I think you have to pivot like that, and you have to pivot like that to maximise both of your... Actually, maybe if I stretch you guys out like so, you can both engage the 15th, you can engage the 17th. Okay, form up. Okay, so you units, all of you... Form up like so, with a foot eager on the flank. Who are you? Regiment of Line. Use my cavalry cooperatively. You're able to engage. Send one unit, one cavalry unit one way, one cavalry unit the other way. You won't be able to stop both. You men, well only one of you really needs to engage the conscripts. Obviously the 7th Regiment have come back. So the Horse Guards attack the Voltager. So 13th how it's uh, unit is firing. The 12th Regiment, I mean Yodnir is damaged well, in position. Open up. I know they're fatigued. There's just too many men to kill. I have to deploy my general somewhere. Okay, redeploy my cavalry. Don't need to pursue the 28th Regiment much longer. New men advance, like so. A lot of how it's a fire. You rally your men, because these militia are important. How it's a fire coming in. Get the 
horse guards out on the flank. Hopefully that's the end of that guard militia unit. Boy, that militia really wants to rout because they've already been pumped up once. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. Plenty of them are tired. They just don't have the time. Okay, my light dragoons, get out of there. My Dragoon Regiment has managed to break the right flank so my infantry can push up. Inspire your men. This militia unit. Nope, don't charge anywhere. Okay, the 35th Regiment. Okay, you guys pivot to engage the 30th. My whole line advance. Focus my artillery fire on the right flank. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, I expected some of you to. Cavalry go wide. I mean, to be honest, you guys might have to chase down some of these infantry units because they're at quite high strength. All my howitzers focus on the 30th regiment. The cavalry's probably going to break on this front, on the right flank. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, thought you would. Understandable. Charge my lights in there just to try and buy a bit of time to allow my forces to rebalance. Guard Russian mission. Uh, guard one of my cavalry. One of the enemy infantry units has returned. Newman advanced to shoot behind them. Let's get four of you units to advance towards the old enemy line. Okay, withdraw the cavalry. Let my felt Jaeger, who are now in position, engage the 20th regiment. 20th light horse could well route. There you go, my militia unit came back. Because that's what my militia does. Okay, your unit is probably going to route. But you guys need to get your stamina back. A guard national unit's probably not going to come back. stuff so let's get two of you to fire onto the flank of the 12th regiment 13th regiment of militia are continuing to engage under general supervision my horse guards have come back so withdraw my hussars and bring my horse guard back and engage the 20th Regiment Light Foot. I think the 22nd Regiment is, well, I was going to say might be the last regiment to come on, but, you know, they've got a lot of units that are, are currently routing, so they might come back. They're shooting the 20th at point-blank range with light infantry. So they are. Yeah, there we go. They're currently broken. Human advance up into the face of the 10th. Okay, you men rotate. You men. Well, let's do something like this. Keep the cavalry moving, even though they are very tired. So then let's get the 35th Regiment that had routed back into the line. You guys can can redirect your fire. Okay, 
think my howitzers are now both out of range again. 29th came back. Okay, so you guys... Advance, advance, light company, advance up to the new threat area. Pull my cavalry back to try and get a little bit more stamina back. Push my men up onto the flank here. Where's my general? Get him up here. Because you men will win against the 31st Regiment. You might not like it, but you will. Volley! Fire! Get my howitzers up to the front. Now my general's here, that's steady the line somewhat. My cavalry that's tired, they're going to split around the enemy position. The 31st Regiment is... It's taking a while to collapse. The better... Sir, sir, our general is under attack. He's getting hit by some of the misses from the French infantry. Come on, the 31st should route soon. Okay, you guys go in. They should break fairly quick. The problem is they've run a, a real a good distance. Then coming back into the fight is not exactly easy. You guys continue to engage the 31st because that's some good kills there you can get. You men continue to attack the 29th because you're not immediately needed. Push the light horse into the 17th regiment. Push the 8th horse guards up. My light infantry are engaging the enemy. Get these two units to bear and charge the 31st in order for my remaining infantry to push up. Push my cavalry towards the 12th. Men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. I know they're fatigued, it's just a cavalryman's life is never done. There we go. No, you're so close to the edge of the map, you might actually route. Okay, you men rotate, get my cavalry back, just because they're they are just really exhausted. And as we are now so relatively strong on the right flank, it would be silly to not utilize that advantage my infantry might not like it but that's the way it is especially as I've got my howitzers getting up into position They're engaging the eighth. Go on, Felt Jaeger. You're opening up. They're determined to attack my horse guard. So let's let these ranks form up. Regiment de Ligne. There we go, some good howitzer fire into the centre. God, these guys are resilient. Okay, let's keep fronts solid. Actually, don't go for the ex units on the extreme flank. Start to drop some in the centre. Ooh, this should be good. Devastating fire at point blank range. Re-engage the 26th.
you're engaging the 22nd, that's fine. That might have felt Jaeger have taken out the 17th, which is good news. Pivot the fire. These militia units that bayonet at charge the enemy. Just keep pushing around the flank. The cavalry advance towards the militia and only charge at the last minute. That will allow you guys to pivot to face off against the flank of the 22nd. Almost a complete rout. Redirect all my artillery against the 22nd. So it's the 9th. The 9th Light Horse and the 9th Horse Guards. Smashed. Steady, shaken, wavering, broken. Continue to attack, because all that remains is the second, 22nd here, who are soon going to be gone. Everyone else just advanced to form a line in case any of the currently... Well, there we go. I was going to say in case any of these units decided to come back, but that was a bit of a slog, wasn't it? You can see the dead all the way across the field as we slowly pushed up towards where the enemy was spawning. That was a close victory. We're going to need to be very careful how we handle this later on. But they did lose 3,423 men. We still have 2,200 remaining. So they've gone for peace. We need to put the city under siege. To be honest, it could be actually quite a bit de quite delicate. I don't like the Russians pushing all these troops into Italy. It makes me think they're up to something. I think they might actually be trying to go for... I don't know. Well, ultimately, once we declare war on them... Not that we are. But down the line... Yeah, we've ambushed a gun team. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they've redeployed west of Gibraltar. There we go. Uniform armament is researched. Cobbled roads have been researched. So, you men down here. Yeah, there's some quite bedraggled units here. And so you need to push up and put Corsica under siege to start the attrition on them, because they were previously replenishing. We have to stop that. We can't necessarily attack. I'd rather attrit them a little bit more. While maintaining... Well, we've still got... We still own the port. You could act as a mobile reserve. Not the best reserve. But reinforcements, nonetheless. Let's get you guys into Toulon. Oh, I didn't mean to bring two ships out. Oh well. So you guys evict the Spanish Navy out of La Corona. We can record, re recruit a sloop. Mr. Backstrom... Take position on the border. My spies are pushing to infiltrate Portugal. Pedro de Almeida. Gomez Freire de Andrade. Chia Molera. Carlos Lecor. Some quite good troops, actually. But you, Mr. Almquist, continue to advance towards Gibraltar. You men inside Madrid are going to have to hold it because if I come out of Madrid, they're going to really... Minus five, actually. That's not bad. Do you have good roads? Actually, I didn't check. Well, as good as we can realistically get because we can't research this technology because it's not there for some reason. You're taking your time replenishing. But ultimately, we are building up our front line that we'll need to fight against Prussia and friends. So you guys need cavalry. Your stuff's being recruited. 
not necessarily for everybody that we need, but let's get you guys across. So what are we on? 16 grand, yeah, just, just keep the recruitment taps going. A lot of cavalry is being recruited now. But we're in a, a bit of a lull phase at the minute because we are waiting on some of these sloop recruitments to occupy some of the town so I can recall my cavalry. Okay. So we have an admiral available. Asbjorn Forsberg. Friends in government, local contacts. Good, our spies are getting better at spying. Okay. Let's hit N10. Yeah, all of our gentlemen have gone back into port. Yeah, the French are going to catch out those two ships, but we don't really care. Yeah, some French ships. Not really. We're not interested. We deployed our reinforcements off of the coast just as we wanted. I, to be honest, I really hoped the Austrians would go for the Russians. Ideally, I can keep building up my front line so that if and if they don't join the war against Britain, I can take Britain, and then those armies that are taking Britain, they can be deployed to Finland and attack Russia from the east. So now Russia can't necessarily rush all their troops west to help try and protect the Prussians. They're going to have to keep some men east. Because suddenly, here we are, storming down through St. Petersburg. Yeah, Russia sending troops in. I'm fairly sure how Napoleon works. If they declare war on us, what happens is they don't... They get teleported outside of our land, I think. If not, we're about to get royally screwed. But I'm fairly sure that's what happens. Because I've, I've done it before and had it happen to me before. I mean, Spain's stuffed because they have no home. And the rebels at Dresden are still doing good. Trade route raided. Oh no, you swines. Fleet destroyed, fleet destroyed again. That's two very grandiose terms for um, <laughs> uh, a sloop. But yeah, carry on. some of these territories, upgrade the gold mine. So you chaps infiltrate Zagreb to get some visibility on what's going on in the top of the top of the Balkans. You can't get there this turn, that's fine. Can you men just get within range? We're content to siege. Actually can we just combine some of these militia units together? Because we have reinforcement militia units. We can try and swap out some of the weaker units for some of the stronger ones, although we've only got one in Delta infantry unit. So you can combine... You men can... It's all you can combine with. And be replaced by the 50th. Okay. Maintain, you know, just maintain the siege of, of Corsica. I mean, to, oh, I don't know, we could just attack it. It would end this episode quite nicely, but I do want to use, I want to be on the defensive here. I don't mind, I don't mind sieging them. It's not a, it's not a problem. We're not, don't have a burning demand to do it. But what we can do, we can attack Gibraltar. It's only a bunch of provincial militia. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take Gibraltar. Actually, should I just fight here? Because it will be the end of France. And loads of these armies are pretty weak. No, no, let them a trip. <laughs> let them a trip. Go for, go for Gibraltar and knock it out. Just so that it can be... Just so that's done. So the Iberian Peninsula is secured. Ooh, siege battle. Proper battle against a fort. Not quite what I had in mind. I have n Okay, so I've never done one of these. I can't imagine it's too different to Napoleon- to, uh, Empire. 
but I wouldn't be surprised if I've got pretty poor artillery options. Okay. So let's treat this like an Empire Total War battle, let's say. Man, I want my light infantry near the breach. Push some men around the flank. There we go. Okay, this is this is gonna make this episode overrun. <laughs> okay. I mean I know it's only Okay, so there's six pounders. Twelve pounders. Engage howitzers. Okay, so we do have some damage being done. My six pounder guns can f are within range, and they've got range 350. Oh, my howitzer is ever so slightly shorter range. I'm surprised if my sixes can't actually shoot Sir, at that section of Sir, the wall. Our general is under attack. Okay, okay, I'll pray on. Oh, that's the says the staff is horse. He's off. Okay, let's speed up time. Get my howitzers to advance. Get my artillery to advance, because I at least want to make a breach. I mean, to be honest, it looks like my 12-pounders have got a mind of their own. There. I mean, I wanted them to shoot at that section, but they seem to be happier shooting at the men on the wall. And limber, and limber... Speed up time. I'm hoping that means I can now... Idle, not in combat. Okay, so why are you... So if you had an attack... So how were you shooting before? If you're gonna fire at will, they say firing and hidden. Okay, so. I want you guys to slam shots into the the wall, but it would appear that a couple of these units can't actually Well, I mean, understandably, they don't have the legs. But they, take, they seem to really not have the legs. Not that it really matters, because they don't have howitzers, but it does make their counter-battery fire a bit more problematic. Because the closer we get, the more accurate their guns get. And like I said, I know they're just partisans, but people get tired really quickly in the in um, Napoleon Total War 3, so you can't just run people up there. You have to walk. So you need to make some breaches... Because everyone's going to be slowly trundling up to the front line at the same speed. So the howitzer's now firing. They are firing. Okay. So my si so here works. Okay. So my seven pounders attack the men on the walls. The sixes. They're in position. They can unlimber. My actual front line here can advance slowly. Okay, so we are making some hits. They're, uh, they're, they're encouraged because of their security of their flanks, but let's say I want you guys to shoot at the wall. 
Will you now do so, or will you just shoot it whatever you like? So you might have to start moving these guys all the way back here. Otherwise I'll never get there in time. So let's barrage my guns. Okay, now you guys have stopped firing, which is... Blue <laughs> Okay, so you are able of still hitting the walls. Okay, good. Let's speed up time then and just let things develop the way they're going to develop. So you are getting some good hits on the walls. The actual wall itself is getting hit. My advance party to the rear are slowly making their way there. Okay, so now I think the, the six pounders are now shooting out of the wall, which is what I want them to do. Good, okay. So there's a... I mean, the funny thing is, is you look at it and go, okay, yeah, this is very familiar to those that have played Empire. I mean, you can zoom out. Oh god, I didn't even realise you can zoom out this far. Okay, let's not do that in case it breaks. Well, there we go. They're hammering away at the breach. My guys are advancing. <gasps> Wait a minute. They're all advancing hidden. Oh, can hide in light scrub and long grass. Ah. That's not annoying at all. <laughs> because we're going to see... We're going we're gonna to be playing this game and suddenly it's just going to be... Oh God! Where did all they come from? Okay, so we're going to have to move up. We're going to get some friendly fire. But this is really funny. All of these guys are... How, like, what? So it's six units, 226 men per team. So that's at least, you know, 1,200, probably 1,300 or more guys are just there going, shh. Can you guys please drum quietly? Because suddenly... Yeah, there we go. Suddenly we've Yeah, now they now they know. <laughs> now they know we're here. Now they know. That's a whole bunch of partisans on their way over. As soon as you gave them the order to... As soon as we gave them the order to... Push up. They became visible. So my lifeguards are getting up there. And a Delta unit are getting up there. They've ceased. They've stopped. They decided not to push. The Vavade are going to continue pushing. I'm going to get a in Delta unit to scale the wall. I'm going to get a 7th Regiment just to wander up to the gate. These militia are going to hold position near the gate. It looks like it's interesting. It looks like they are going to try and defend the gatehouse itself. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that we are going to be able to mass. So I might even get this militia unit up here too. Okay, so that section of the wall is nearly collapsed. For a minute I was like, are we hit? Do we count as hidden? Because everyone's going, shh. 
They don't know we're here. It is nice though, very nice of them to let them to let us just send guys up here. Yeah, that section of the wall has collapsed. Well, there's no point in making them all get to work on a second one, because that'll take forever. Well, but they may as well. There's a lot of men that are going to be up on this wall. To be honest, units like this, the 11th, are just going to go straight down this ramp into the centre as well. But we are fighting as partisans, so... The Bjornborg, they are our forlorn hope. This unit of light infantry might seek to actually try and... get up and over the... Oh, actually, they... Oh, one of their units is shattered. Oh, it's because that was the unit that was probably... That must have been a canister. Sh that must have been a howitzer shot that did that. Because that's uh, the ramp's fine. I mean, obviously, I want my lifeguard regiment to lead the way along the wall against the partisans. The 11th just get down here. You, These guys that have captured the gates just walk inside the wall. March towards the enemy. Don't run till the last minute. They're going to go first. Then the Indelta. Then the militia are going to follow. <laughs> it's just so dumb. Again, don't have to run, just walk. Might actually try and nail my general over here. Quickly. Let's try and get a Varvada unit to secure the gate, a Delta unit to secure the the breach itself. Go on, Bjornborg. You're the forlorn hope. To be honest, my general should probably get over here. See, they've got their general over here. We don't. You men, secure the gate. The first unit's going down hard. The Bjornborg have charged in. And the Bjornborg are going... Uh, all uh, very upset themselves. Secure the centre. Stop! Our defences are breached and failing. They're not our defences. Howitzer are attacking the 8th. 12 pounders ceasefire. That's where you men open up. The militia, unsurprisingly, are upset. We've broken one unit of enemy... Actually, no, that's two units of enemy troops. The gates are ours! Yep. <laughs> Maybe a bit of overkill here. Get my militia to cover the wall. Get my lifeguards to push off the wall with my Indelta. They're going to have to walk. My Bjornborg are pushing into the local partisans. But they're going down hard. To be honest, the morale here is... They're going down real hard. 
The militia can run because they're going to take position on the wall. But everyone else. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. It's the men of the breach. Very well. Let's do this intelligently. So you're exhausted. Send in another unit. Their fighting efficiency is impaired when the men are exhausted. How it's a ceasefire? Because you might kill my general. So you men should be up and ready. There we go. Form rank and engage the partisans. Not very successfully, but engage nonetheless. My infantry are tired on the wall. There we go, my men engage. Take up firing points on the wall. I want my troops that are advancing down the wall to try and gain some uh, stamina back. Oh, there we go. We took the centre. So I might have over-egged the battle a bit. Um, but, you know, it's my first siege battle. <laughs> First ever, actually, Napoleon Total War 3. But there we go. We quite convincingly took the city. So we're going to loot Gibraltar. Let's repair the settlement. Let's get a sloop built. The Spanish Navy are being dogs, but we're not worried about the Spanish Navy. One more turn till the sloop's built. Okay. That's gone pretty good. Yeah, got stuff that's going to reinforce the centre. You men deposit your troops across and sail back to Finland. There we go. So that was quite handy. Um, maybe it'll be Rune's force that advances into Portugal with Mr. Backstrom. And maybe the force that's garrisoning Spain, once it gets its cavalry back, will sail to invade Palma. And that will be the end of the Spanish Navy. It won't take long for the, those cavalry units to get across the, the world. The French want peace, so I suspect they will probably attack us. Which is what I would, oh, I would hope they'd attack us, but they didn't. I mean, yeah, between Fran between Austria, Russia, and Prussia, that is a huge amount of firepower. So even though we've recruited a lot of troops, we still... We need them. We really need them. And Spain... Well, Sweden is going to have to keep pumping out troops once war begins, because we're going to need reinforcements rapidly. So that's why I don't mind the war against Spain and Britain or Spain at least, taking so long because every turn I get is another turn's worth of recruitment that I can get and it's another contribution to the front line. I'm really curious about where they're all going. Part of me wonders if it's part of their, their programming is to try and attack me but they can't because they're my allies. I mean it definitely looks like they want to attack me. Definitely looks like they want to attack me. Spain wants peace and they're offering money. No. Sorry, Spain. The end is near for you. So you are short one a cavalry unit and an infantry unit. Which you're going to be getting a light dragoon. Two artillery, the 12 and the 6, are going to this force here. So you're getting an infantry unit and a cavalry unit, so then this will be this army done. So now we have recruit potential six recruitment slots for Mr. Brecky. Breck. Two artillery, carabiner, hussar, cuirassier, light dragoons, and let's get Svenska Guard and a lifeguard grenadier. You guys get back to Finland. Plenty of cavalry. Two militia, two foot jäger. Just keep sent. Just keep shipping people over because we're going to need them. And obviously, lots of these generals actually we haven't got that much experience of, and these commanders are actually quite green. But you know, there's not a lot we can do. 
Okay, so get the Dragoons back to Madrid here. You are one turn off of getting your sloop. Can we leave Gibraltar? We can. Get to the south. This steam dried up can also recruit a sloop. Portugal will need to be humbled. Um, but looking at the timer, I think I'm going to end the episode here because things are going really quite well. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Sweden. Cheers everyone.